So, Richard, before you go, let's take a look at a clip from the trailer of the new documentary that you're a part of that examines the history of U.S. democracy and how it can be saved in this year's election. This democracy has been around for over two centuries for a reason, but then what? It doesn't matter whether or not you're Republican, Democratic, Independent, whether you're in the Green Party, you know, it doesn't really matter as long as you're here for America to be better. Democracy is not a spectator sport. Democracy requires people to suit up and get on the field. This country was founded on people fighting for the right to vote and govern ourselves. The stakes are enormous in these elections. The, the differences are real. So I want Americans to get informed and then to vote. You know, Richard, um, there's a, always a State of the Union, um, and every president says the State of our Union is strong. And I think in many ways uh, it's not. And I think young people and those who are, might, you know, be busy about kitchen table issues, too concerned with their own, quite frankly, survival in this economy and raising kids may not have such a close look on the issue of democracy which is precious and fragile. Uh, what do you think the challenges are to our democracy in the year ahead? How serious is the potential loss of it? Look, uh, it's incredibly serious, Vika. And I, let, me, let me just divide it into three periods. I think we've got now running up to the election, and we've got real questions about our, the ability of our government to function during this period. We've got all sorts of spending challenges, Ukraine and, and Israel and so forth. And then we've got the question of people able to vote, whether route, whether there's going to be physical disruption of people trying to vote and so forth. So I think there's that phase. Then after the election, I can imagine unclear outcomes. You could have some competing yeah. slates of electors. Again, I can imagine political violence. And then if Mr. Trump were to emerge as the, and be inaugurated in January of next year, of 2025, then the United States could very much become an illiberal democracy. Uh, we see elements of it, for example, in Hungary. You could see calling out the military to quell uh, domestic uh, dissent. You could see the weaponization of the, of the organs of government, the IRS or, the, or the, the Justice Department, the elimination of tens of thousands of civil servants, replacement with political people who aren't necessarily qualified. So, uh, and again, nothing's inevitable. And I don't want anybody watching this to say, you know, we're cooked, nothing, you know, we're, uh, nothing good can happen. But nobody should be sanguine. And that's why I think yeah. for the next year, the most important thing everybody needs to do is get informed, get involved, and vote. In the longer run, we can address things like civics in our schools, public service, and so forth. But for this year, for 2024, the priority for Americans has to be get informed, get involved, get out and vote. President Emeritus of the Council on Foreign Relations, Richard Haas, thank you so much. The new documentary is entitled A Citizen's Guide to Preserving Democracy, and it premieres tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern on PBS. Richard, thank you so much.